Well, more than one year after the East Palestine toxic train derailment, two-person crews on freight trains are now required. The Federal Railroad Administration has issued this final rule after finding, quote, troubling trends demonstrate the need to improve safety. The White House says this closes a loophole by establishing minimum standards and federal oversight. One rail worker tells me it's been a long time coming and the union is relieved. Two-person crews on trains is now federally mandated. The White House says the long-awaited rule enhances rail safety by generally requiring a second crew member on major freight and passenger trains. This codifies staffing rules at a federal level, ensuring that rail operations are governed by consistent rules in all states. Rail union leaders say the teamwork of a two-person crew has a real impact. And saying it doesn't is either ignorant misleading or dangerous, usually all three. Without the final rule, railroads could initiate single crew operations without notifying the FRA, something rail union worker Patrick Jennings says has been a concern for workers. With longer trains hauling dangerous materials, he says this mandate is a necessity. To have two people with two sets of eyes being able to see and communicate with each other it just makes everything a whole lot safer and smoother as far as running trains now senator sherrod brown says this is an important first step but wants to see his railway safety act introduced with senator vance pass brown says that would help prevent wheel bearing failures and require better wayside detectors congressional action is something the department of transportation and rail union is pushing for. Congress has yet to act even a year after the East Palestine derailment in Ohio. Legislating is your job. Please do your job or get out of the way and let somebody who's willing to step up and do the job do it. You can read our full story and all the statements on the 21 News app.